Okay. So, can you see us? Mm -hmm. Adrian and Jay. Mm -hmm. All right, do I have your permission to post this on YouTube or any other place? Yeah. Nope. Okay. So, what do you think happens when somebody dies? Me personally, I kind of just think it's all over. I think your consciousness just kind of ceases to exist. I guess you could almost describe it as darkness, but you're not really aware, so I don't find it something to be scared of. Yeah. Okay. I think pretty similar, but more so like you're just not even really aware. You're just kind of just, just done. Okay. A Adriana? And Adriana. Jay? Adriana yeah. and Jay. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you believe in the soul's existence? To an extent, yeah. I think that maybe some remnants could be left behind, but it's more of a energy okay. rather than a consciousness. So like, uh, like a universe energy? Kind of, yeah. I kind of believe in a bit of like the we're all one collective spirit yeah. kind of dispersed amongst multiple people. Yeah, eventually, do you believe eventually we go to Nirvana? Not necessarily. Okay. I think it's just kind of, you're done, which I know is really scary for some people. Yeah. But for me, it's kind of a breath of fresh air to do so much work and then just get to be done. Yeah. What about you, Jay? See, I think you're kind of just like split between all the people like that you and I are in your life. Like, just, that's just kind of dispersed to everyone. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Is it like a reincar reincarnation or? Not necessarily. Just, okay, just, I mean, you just, you just, you just, you just, it, it just ends. Yeah. Okay. I think, you know, there's always going to be the same amount of energy on the earth. So when you die, that kind of has to go somewhere. Okay. But I don't think your consciousness has to go on. Okay. So, and I think if you believed in like heaven or nirvana, that would require your consciousness still existing to yeah. experience that. Okay. Um, blending in with the universe. Kind of, yeah. Okay. So, um, do you believe in God's existence? No, I don't. No? No. Okay. Um, are you open-minded to hear why I think there's good evidence for a God to exist? Um, I guess I could, but I was raised Christian, so I already have a good amount of information. Okay. So, um... The Bible says the heavens declare mm -hmm. God's um, handiwork. And uh, so how, how do you know when you see this wall, mm -hmm. how do you know that there was a builder? Because you see it? Yeah. You can touch it? Yeah. We have evidence mm -hmm. that there was a builder, mm -hmm. right? Um, when, you, when you look at your hair, the mm -hmm. color is in it, right? Mm -hmm. so, somebody painted it, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we know that there was a painter? I see where you're going, you know, you can't exactly see that someone did that, yeah. but you do have evidence, you know, of like the change, there being roots and then something else. Yeah. Like no matter how long ago it happened, you, you still see the result, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I even think that Jesus could have even been a real person, maybe just not as much of a, quite the way people might make him out to be. I think that back in those times, maybe he had more information than some people did. So some of the things he did could have come off as miracles when nowadays they could potentially be normal. Obviously not all of them like splitting a C, okay. but you know. All right, so do you think you're a good person, good enough to get into heaven if it does exist? Yes, I was just talking about this earlier actually. For me, I totally accept that maybe I'm 100% wrong. Maybe God does exist. But if I die and I'm a great person my whole life and then I get up there and this dude's like, you didn't believe in me though and you didn't claim me, then I personally don't want it. I think all that matters is that I'm a good person and then if I die and I'm wrong, yeah. we'll see from there. Okay, what about you, Jay? Jay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you're a good person, good enough to get into heaven? Yeah, I believe the same thing is like, I mean, realistically, if we're not like being bad in any way, then what, is, that, is that not enough? Do we not need to uh, just fully believe into it? Yeah. So, um, the tribes in Africa that have never heard of the name of Jesus, they are not going to go to hell for not hearing Jesus. They're going to go to hell for being bad people, right? So uh, I'm going to, do you mind if I take you through the good person test to see if you're a good person? Okay. All right. So have you ever been, have you ever seen this on the side of the highways, those speed limit signs that tell you how fast you're going? Um, those, if, if you're going too fast, it says, hey, slow down, right? Mm -hmm. Those show you how much you're transgressing the law, mm -hmm. man's law. I'm going to try to be a speed limit sign mm -hmm. and try to show you how much you're transgressing God's law, mm -hmm. right? Okay. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. So let, let's see if we have any wages, okay? Uh, if we deserve death, okay? Uh, when you look into a mirror, you see the reality of what we look like, right? When we look at the Ten Commandments, 
we see the reality of how God sees us. Um, so first question, um, how many lies do you think you've told in your entire life? Probably couldn't really guess. Um, I do suffer from mental illness when I was younger and that was unmanageable, probably a lot more than I would now. But I don't really feel the need to lie most of the time. I don't really feel like I'm a person who has secrets even. Would you say it was countless lies? Mm, Can't count them? Probably, but that's also just mental illness kind of dissociating you at the time. Okay, what about you, Jay? It's the same. It's countless as well. I really, I can't really remember. Like, I don't know. Cause, I mean, especially like, especially when you're younger. Okay. I mean, you'll just tell like really dumb lies for no reason a lot of the time. Okay. What would you call somebody who tells lies? If I told a lie, what would you call me? A liar, but I do think your intention matters. I do think there's a difference between something you're saying to try to protect yourself, like what if someone's in a domestic abuse situation and they need to lie about something yeah. for their safety versus just compulsive liars who lie about horrible things they shouldn't, like yeah. lying about having cancer or lying about yeah. being sexually assaulted or et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Or as well as the, the comfortability of who you're talking to and okay. like why the lie is like happening. Okay. Say it. That's, that's most, mostly been the thing for me, where it's someone I'm not willing to talk to them about that thing, so lying just lets me push away easier. Yeah. Okay, so have you ever stolen anything at all in your entire life? Uh, could count um, downloading music, movies, and games illegally from the internet? Again, maybe as a kid, but since I've been an adult, not really. Okay. I stole an eraser once. Okay. Eraser? Yeah, it was a Santa eraser. You know, I've, I've lied and stole. I've, I've stolen from a gas station. A D I stole a DS from somebody at school. You know, I'm, I'm a thief. I'm a lying thief. Um, have you ever said God's name in vain? Yes, but from what I'm aware, it's a bit different than people tend to make it. It's not so much being like, uh, oh God or something. It's more so speaking ill of him than really using his name per se and while I don't believe in him and it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me everybody can still believe what they believe I wouldn't want someone to come at me in an aggressive way for my beliefs so we all know the same information which is pretty much nothing yeah. so who am I to pass judgment like you know just as much as I do we're all just guessing <laughs> yeah. what about you? have you ever said God's name in vain? I definitely have okay. yeah. now um, Adriana Anna Anna? <laughs> Adriana. 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 Sorry. I'm trying no, you're to... good. Everybody does Okay. It. Adriana. Okay. Do you know what vain means? I mean, it can mean vain about, like, looks. It can be a thing about, uh, like, beauty almost. So, like, vain, it means you, you take something out of context. You know, your name is Adriana, right? If I called you something else, that'd be out of context. I'm not giving you what um, you deserve. I'm not use giving you respect. Um, see, when we say God's name in vain, we replace it, we, 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 instead of saying a cuss word, a four letter filth word beginning with human excrement, beginning with S, human excrement, we use the name of Jesus or God's name in its place. That's what vain means. Instead of, instead of talking to him how he intended it to be, we gave it a new meaning. That's in vain. So, would you use your mom's name as a cuss word? Jokingly, yes, but <laughs> not very genuinely, no. Yeah. What about you, Jay? I have. Okay. Um, you love her and care about her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you probably regret it, right? No. Okay. So, uh, so you, you do it out of hate. Yes. Right? So somebody who doesn't like God. They, sometimes people intentionally do it, just out of, just, just be hateful, out of spite, right? So that, that's evidence that people hate God. Why else would we use Jesus' name as a cuss word? I, we don't use Hitler's name as a cuss word, right? And, um, okay, so, one last serious question, personal question. Uh, Jesus said, you have heard that it was said, do not commit adultery, but I say to you, Whoever commits a whoever looks at somebody lustfully, which is sexual desire, um, commits adultery with them in their heart. Have you ever looked at a person with lust? Definitely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Not now, that I would harass them over it. I need to keep it to myself. It's yeah, not yeah. their problem. It's <laughs> yeah. 
So let's let's since you said harass, let's 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 go on to that trail, right? Uh, G, so if if lust is actually doing it to God, right? In God's eyes, if I lust after somebody, I'm doing it in person. If I lust after somebody without their permission, I'm doing it in person without their permission. So I could be a molester, a molester, a rapist, with that kind of logic, right? Okay. So, by your own admission, now I'm not looking down upon you. I'm I'm way worse than both you guys. You're just trying to explain things in a different yeah. way. I, I don't see myself as better than anybody else. Uh, I'm a wretch. So you've, you've admitted to lying, stealing, blaspheming, and committing adultery. So those are the wages. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if God does exist, and if there is a judgment day, if he judged you by the Ten Commandments, we looked at four. Would you be innocent or guilty of breaking his laws, of just breaking them? Would you be innocent or guilty? I think many people have different interpretations of God and what he actually prioritizes by some people's definitions, very much yes so. But I also know many Christians who would say, no, as long as you are still a good person, you still help people, you're still kind to people, you still give them love, whether they really deserve it entirely or not. So maybe yes, by maybe even your definition or many others, I would probably be banished to hell. Okay. What about you, Jay? By the way you're going about it, yeah. Go stand down that same route, yes. Okay. So Jesus said, uh, no one is good but God. So either we're, Jesus was lying and we're good, or Jesus was telling the truth and we're just like everybody else. We're just, we're sinners who are guilty. You know, we, so if you ended up in hell on Judgment Day, would you be concerned, about, does that concern you? It's hard to say that it does since I so like genuinely don't believe in either. But, um... I don't know, I guess you should be concerned about inter eternal pain and etc. Yeah. But you know, there's also the running joke of, well, if I'm going to hell, all my friends are going to be there type of thing. Yeah. But I, I am trying to take you yeah. seriously, you know. It's not a, it's not a party in there. Yeah, I am uh, trying to yeah. take you seriously. And, and I'm, I'm talking to you guys because I love you and I care about you and I don't want you to go away. I don't. That's why I'm here. Um, so, would it concern you if you went to hell? Um. I mean, I don't want to regret anything I've ever done, yeah. and I try not to. I try to just accept things I've done, even if I do necessarily like not care for them as much. And if that's where I end up going, that's where I end up going. Okay. Yeah. Like, as so, long as I believe in what I've done. Because God is good and just, He has to punish sin. Mm -hmm. He cares if somebody gets raped. He cares if somebody gets murdered. People get away with that. Mm -hmm. He cares if somebody gets lied to, stolen from. He cares if somebody says his name in vain, uses it as a cuss word. The Bible says that hatred is murder. So we're all, if we've ever hated somebody, we're a murderer in God's eyes. God sees being prideful very bad. Um, you know, we have to come to God with a humble heart, and we have to confess our sins. So, what? So because God is good and just, He has to punish sin, right? I'm, I'm headed for, I'm headed to hell too. On that logic, right? Okay, so. But because God loves us and is rich in mercy, he did something so that we didn't have to go to hell. Do you know what he did? Sacrificed himself. Okay. 2,000 years ago, God came down from heaven as Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He lived a perfect, sinless, righteous, blameless life. Something that me and you can't ever do. Uh, you know, he fulfilled the law. He checkmarked all those boxes. We can't do that. And since the wages of sin is death, he didn't earn or deserve his death on the cross. Legally, he did not. It was, it was a bad trial. But we, we do earn it. We do deserve death, right? Because we've sinned. We've got the wages. Jesus didn't have wages. So what happened on the cross was Jesus took our place. We broke God's laws, the Ten Commandments, and Jesus paid the fine. If you're in court and somebody pays your fine, the judge can legally let you go, even though you're guilty, because your fine was paid by another. On Judgment Day, God can legally let us go to heaven, even though we deserve hell, because of Jesus' death and resurrection on the cross. That's the good news. See, without the bad news, the good news of the cross doesn't make sense. Jesus dying on the cross doesn't make sense if we don't think we're if we, if we, if we think we're a good person, right? If we don't think we're sinners. Jesus dying doesn't make sense. 
So we trust in Jesus. There's just two things we must do to be saved, to, to accept God's gift. That's one is to repent, to turn away from sin, right? So uh, I'm attracted to guys, but I don't act on it because I know what the Bible says. Uh, and, and it makes sense for someone who does believe in the Bible. If yeah. you have these beliefs, yeah. it makes sense. So I, I can't call myself a Christian and continue to lie, steal, blaspheme, commit adultery in my heart, commit, on, commit homosexuality, to act on my temptations. Mm -hmm. You know, because I get those, I do. But I don't act on them anymore. I try my best not to. So we not only repent, not, we not only turn away from them, but we confess them to God, not a priest, God himself, Jesus, and we show contrition. We, we should be sorry that we say God's name as a cuss word. You know, Jesus died for us. We shouldn't want to do that for somebody who died for us. And then we not only, do, no, we not only repent, but we trust in Jesus. We don't just believe in Jesus, that he was a real person, but we trust in his goodness, his good works, his fulfillment of the law, his death and resurrection on the cross, his sacrifice. We trust that it was good enough to save us from hell. Like we don't trust in our good works to get us into heaven, but Jesus' good works. Does that make sense? Like we, we, we trust in him like we trust a parachute. We don't put on a parachute for a better life. We put on a parachute for the jump to come. So we gotta strap Jesus on as hard as we can. We gotta love him with all our mind, all our strength, all our soul, and all uh, mind, soul, strength, and spirit. All of that. And our avid, our fruit, like a tree produces fruit, our fruit will show our repentance. If I'm living a godly life, I will bear fruit of repentance. So that's how you know you're saved. You'll just see it. Like, if you see somebody being an alcoholic, you can see that they're not um, turning away from alcoholism, right? Same thing with any other sin. And if you put your hope, trust, and faith in Christ, He'll create you into a new creation, like He did me. I used to drink iniquity like water. You know, I used to love my sin. I didn't want to get rid of it. But Jesus, He'll turn you into a new creation. He'll give you that spark. He'll He'll make you desire to do what God wants to do, you know. Uh, do you believe what I'm saying? Do you I think really I'm lying? I don't, but I do, I am really happy for you that you have something that yeah. gives you so much faith and makes you feel like you have a sense of security, and I'm glad that you're able to have a relationship, yeah. you know. And I do appreciate that you still have love for people, even if you consider them one way or another, you know. Um, yeah. This is, this is the gospel truth. Without the bad news, the good news doesn't make sense. I, I didn't withhold any bad things because I care about you. Well, you know, I, I, would, I, ra I would rather be offend. Rude, yeah. I will have to wrap this up. Yeah. I do have friends waiting on me, and I don't yeah. want to be rude to them. Okay. Either. I would rather offend you to heaven than to comfort you to hell. It horrifies me to see you in hell, okay? I love you and I care about you. Thank you so much for listening no, to me. No problem. Can I give you, you my like YouTube card? Sure. Okay, hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, I really want to encourage you to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share it on Facebook, any other social media platform. So basically, whenever YouTube sees a subscriber watches my video, YouTube is more inclined to distribute my video to other people groups. So if someone was watching my video without subscribing, it would help tremendously if they did subscribe. If you're a regular viewer, please subscribe. It'll help, it'll help the channel grow. Maybe one day I can become full-time, be an evangelist full-time doing YouTube. And so this is a free way that you can support me is just by subscribing because you're already watching the content, so why not subscribe? And, and if you're a new viewer and if you liked the video, uh, I just want to encourage you. This is the content you're going to be getting all the time. It'll really help me out, and I, re I would really appreciate it. So thanks for watching this. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Have a blessed day.